here with Gesa, the 21-year-old staple from Germany, 8th in the Olympics, 9th in World Championships, uh, 9.42 today. You said it was your first race in nine months. How do you feel about it? I'm a little upset because the A standard for the European Championships in Zurich this year is 9.42. So I missed it by a little less than a second, I think. So I really wanted to be, uh, get the A standard here. But it was my first race for nine months and it's really hard to get back into it and so it might be a good start and I will definitely get the A standard and like getting closer to my PR again. Yeah. Off camera you were telling us why you hadn't raced in nine months. Can you, can you tell the, the fans sort of what you've been doing? And I'd um, been to a military basic workout for the German army. They're sponsoring athletes. And so I went to a six week basic training and couldn't train at all. And after that, I have to start completely new, get my get it back to my level again. And there are no steeples during the winter. So I worked really hard, did some cross country, but haven't been racing on the track for nine months now. Is that compulsory? Like, are you required to, to attend the training? To, to alternate? No? For, uh, to attend the training? Kenya? No, 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 in Germany. You don't have to join the military, right? You just joined to get sponsored for that. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of a, um, a sponsoring from the German Federation, and they want like athletes to work for the military, but our, our work is like doing sports. And though so they pick just the best athletes from all over the disciplines. Yeah. Does it? Did, you know why? I guess why you been off the circuit, the American Emma Coburn won and the, won the Diamond League race the other day. Does that give you hope to sort of see a non-African winning? Is that exciting to yes, see? Yes, definitely, because in the Olympics I beat Emma Coburn by three hundredths of a second. So we'd been pretty close and uh, she got injured the year before, so she did really improve and I'm happy for her and I hope I can do that too. So that definitely give me, give me hope. It, the steeplechase is something Europeans and Americans are pretty good in because it's not just about running, it's about rhythm and like a lot of concentration. You have to focus on the hurls and not just on running. And I like that too. And I really want to improve myself and getting closer to Emma this year. And hopefully set a new PR too. And then we'll see. With your English being so good, did you ever think about coming to school in the States? You could have come and run for Oregon or you know, one of these big schools over here. I thought about it, but I'm really happy with my coach in Germany. I worked with him since I've been 16 years, and that worked out pretty well. And I've been to the States for two months now, altitude training in Flagstaff, and then some sea level training in Los Angeles. So I like the States a lot, and I really want to come back here for training. But I think I'm happy with my coach in Germany, and I'm really happy to go back now and like work with him again. Did you go to university over there? Or no? Yes, I do some self studies because it's really hard with, uh, with all the traveling. I keep contact to the university by phone, but I couldn't be there all day long, so that's what I'm doing. And that's the reason why I went to the military. So I get paid by the military, like to afford my life as an athlete, which is really, really important to me to do it like I do it right now. What does that training entail? Uh, where? The basic, oh, training. the basic training. What is it? Yeah. Oh, so you learn every skill like someone at the military has to do. So we, they know that we won't like get a soldier or anything, but they, if we get paid by them, they want us to know why they do it and how life in the military is. So it's kind of how life in the military community is like. And so we should know everything about it. It was great, it was like an adventure, but I would never be a soldier. I'm way too skinny and kind of don't, not strong enough for it. What's an interesting story. Thanks for sharing with us. Thank you. Have a good one.